Hello, in this video I'll demonstrate how to properly terminate your field fiber using the Unicam High Performance Tool. Be sure to follow all recommended safety procedures when working with these tools and fiber optic products. And remember to always wear your safety glasses. First we want to ensure that we have the connector properly seated in the tool. Then what we'll do is we'll pick up our cleaver. We're going to remove the fiber from the cleaver by pressing the black button and gently pulling out the fiber. First, we need to insert the cleave fiber into the fiber leading tube. Apply slight pressure until you feel it reach a positive stop. Your visual mark should get within one millimeter of the leading tube. Apply a little more pressure you put a slight bend in it. This will hold the fiber in place while you cam it. Press down the cam button until the green light illuminates. When the green light illuminates, it signifies that you have a good termination. In rare instances, the red light will illuminate, indicating the termination was not successful. If this is the case, press the reset button, then remove and reseat the fiber. Squeeze down on the cam button, and the green light should illuminate. If the red light continues to illuminate, you may need to remove, recleave, or reinsert the fiber. When the green light illuminates, indicating a successful termination, turn the crimp knob 180 degrees. Clockwise or counterclockwise doesn't matter. Slight resistance while turning the knob is normal. By turning the crimp knob, we have crimped the lead-in tube, and this is what holds the fiber in place. Do not press the reset button until you remove the connector from the tool. Doing so uncams the connector. Open the lid, slide the VFL coupler back into its starting position, slightly squeeze the load button, and remove the connector from the tool by lifting it straight up and out. Once you've removed the connector, go ahead and place the dust cap back on. Next, slide the boot up on the back of the connector until it reaches the cam. A slight pressure is required. You'll still see about a one millimeter gap between the cam and the dust cap. Now we're going to install the outer shroud on the connector. We want to ensure that the date code on the connector is lined up with the key on the shroud. Next, slide the connector into the back side of the shroud. Apply a little bit of pressure until you hear a click. Once you hear that click, the shroud has been properly installed and should move freely back and forth. For LC connectors, remove the black load adapter and replace the dust cap. Next, slide up the LC trigger until it latches on the connector. And finally, grab the boot and slide it up all the way up until the cam. For ST compatible connectors, remove the black load adapter and replace the dust cap. Next, grab the boot, slide up the fiber, and push it on until it comes up to the cam. If you are installing additional connectors, press the reset button to make the tool ready for the next connector. If the cover is closed, the error light will flash if a connector is not loaded into the tool. Once the next connector is loaded properly, this light will stop flashing. Once you are finished installing connectors, slide the power switch to off, close the lid, and return the tool to the tool kit. That's it. If you have any questions or recommendations for videos, call us or send us an email at cablesystems at corning.com. Remember, Corning Cable Systems recommends getting trained in fiber optic installation. We offer a series of classes. Thank you.